The Impact Conference and the Lion's Den is just one of the many ways we drive investment in the region's entrepreneurs. Over the next 10 years, we're going to see something, I think, dramatic, and I think we have seen it. So we're also going to see disruption in artificial intelligence, healthcare, automobiles, education, 3D printing, and agriculture. But as entrepreneurs, you are the disruptors this year. Obviously, one of the biggest hurdles for entrepreneurs is access to capital, which is why conferences like Impact are so wonderful. You heard earlier uh, from uh, our folks, uh, Dave Maturo at Grant Thornton, that we have over 100 already registered one-on-one -on -one meetings with two, nearly 250 pending. And those are all opportunities to connect one-on-one -on -one with people throughout the conference. And this is one of those fundamental things about disruptive times. How quickly can you move? How agile can you be? Understand the result of the 2016 election, I think you need to go back 30 years. What was stunning throughout primary season, and it escalated as the season progressed, were how many on the Republican side said that they were angry at the federal government. And equally interesting was how many of them Donald Trump was winning. PAC's vision is to be the go-to resource for fast-growing companies and a driver of entrepreneurship and innovation in the Philadelphia region. That's the new vision. You know, you, you talk about this proprietary database to be able to run your, your, your AI against. You know, how do you, how do you get that information? How do you know, you know, with the dark web and all these different areas that are out there, how do you know you have uh, the, the right database to run yeah, this sure. AI against? So it's, it's a, that's a great question, very uh, intuitive. It's one of the hardest parts of the problem is doing the data normalization that you're pulling in. Uh, yeah, I'll make an offer, but not on the lines of what you're looking for. Mm -hmm. If you can extend the seed round, bump up the valuation by 50% from the seed round, I'll mm -hmm. come in for about 200. He wants a cap on the, on, the, on, the, on the value of the company today. Oh, okay. Well, we could work out a cap. And, and that, and that, <laughs> I'm just saying, really, I, 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 I mean, I tell you as an entrepreneur who's talked to a lot of people, and there's different investors have different ways about how they want you to do these early stage, the sort of pre-VC rounds. It was an honor and privilege serving as your chair this year. Very rarely does anyone ever get a chance to say drinks are on me to 1,200 people, but tonight drinks are on me. So thank you very much.